<laughs> How's everybody doing? Sorry that I um took a, a, a some time to do um the Capricorn, but I've been doing reading and catching up on reading. Remember the conference I did uh, uh, in DC? I generated some clients out there as a new subscribers, and of course my old subscribers that I have to you now finish the work that I've already started. So I've already done that and finished that. Stacy, I gotta deal with you, Stacy Davis. Um, Keandra, I spoke to, and I will speak again. Terrence, I uh, will be speaking at 2.30. Sarah Mumpa and Sarah Campbell. Mrs. Campbell, I haven't heard from you yet. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to catch you. So, okay. So, um, we're going to talk about Capricorn, the devil. But first, my pineapple martini. <laughs> My pineapple, my pineapple martini. It matches my amber ring. Yes, one of my new additions. Um, all right, let's jump right in. Now understand, I've been telling you that the Capricorn, the cardinal signs, the movers and the shakers. They make things happen. Capricorn is the devil. Gotta roll the tongue. The devil. The devil. And there's a reason why he's the devil. Capricorn is uncompromising, unforgiving energy. Cardinal Earth. Capricorn, the devil, if you're a man, and the earth queen, if you're a woman. Let's jump right in. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. <laughs> I don't have that ready anymore. It was just, you know, it's tough. It's harder. Let's clap. <laughs> well, you all know me. I have life and cheerfulness in my soul. So let's jump right in. And let's talk. Capricorn. Um, no, I'm looking at my own notes, you know, but let me, uh, let me explain that the Capricorn Ascendant, if the rising sun is Capricorn, its ruling planet is Saturn. Let me just put that out there on the back. You may, uh, uh, usually people with Capricorn and their ascendant have an aspiration in life to explore all facts of reality. And with Capricorn and the ascendant, you realize very early that there are multiple realities around us and sub realities around us. Capricorn represents cardinal earth, the footstool in which we stand. It's about tangible results, practical results. Otherwise, it's not meaningful to Capricorn. Capricorn is no nonsense. He's very serious about what he wants or she wants. 
and they have themselves in a one direction course that does not confer looking back. Cardinal Earth, Capricorn, the devil. Let's find a music, music that can go with this combination. Much better. Okay, understand that um, Capricorn is interested in looking at all facts of reality, and so does uh, 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 and wants to do so on its own terms. You have to understand. That Capricorn answers to no one, anyone, or anything. Like Scorpio, they, Scorpio and Capricorn, they function under self preservation principle. It's about survival, self-survival, self-preservation, and self-sustainment at the expense of others, if necessary. Not that, that that's the goal for Capricorn, but if other people have to be expendable to its success, it will. Capricorn, the devil, cardinal earth, the footstool in which we stand. My pineapple martini. So understand that when you're dealing with such a cardinality of a human being, how do we ascribe this dichotomy and this expressive nature of the human ego and personality in humans as ascribing to the heavens, the stars? Well, if you look at the star, at the planetary system of Capricorn, of Saturn, Saturn has, I believe, 54 moons. It has rings. Saturn can be its own solar system, miniature solar system within our solar system. It needs nothing and no one for its own self-preservation and its own self-sustainment. Now we're talking about the planet Saturn and its moon. I mean, if you study in cosmology, right, material science, uh, the science of Saturn and its planetary moons and all that is like a beautiful miniature solar system of its own. It has everything it needs. The only thing it gets from the outside of itself is the rays of the sun. But aside from that, Capricorn, Saturn, the moons of Saturn, which are plenty. I think Jupiter has 64 moons. Saturn has, I think, 57 moons. I'm not quite sure. I have to check my uh, cosmology records. But nonetheless... The Capricorn energy is self-sustaining, self-supporting. It needs and wants nothing and relies on nobody. Capricorn, the devil. Cardinal, Earth, the footstool in which we stand. This psychological nature in the personality and ego is very easy to correlate to the actual physicality of the planet Saturn and its moons and its own ecosystem within our solar system. Capricorn is the devil because it needs nothing and no one for its own self-preservation. Let me repeat that again because I was fumbling a little bit. Capricorn symbolizes the devil because it doesn't need you and it doesn't need anything or anyone for its own survival and its own self-preservation. It can do that all on its own without you. Like Scorpio, 
Very powerful signs indeed. Capricorn, Cardinal Earth, the footstool in which we stand. So understand that right out the gate, right out the gate, you gotta understand that. Oh, another beat. <laughs> you, know, you all know me by now. Okay, so I understand that um, with, um, no, uh, this is the principle of Saturn, okay? Your approach to the world combines the philosophical with the personal individualistic expectations, needs, desires, and aspirations. Needs, desires, and aspiration. Let's look at that more closely. Capricorn has needs. We all have needs. The Capricorn need is to feel secure. The opposite polarity of Capricorn is cancer, which requires emotional security. So Capricorn also requires emotional security. Affirmation of its own validity and worth. So does cancer. Because Capricorn and Cancer fall on the same polarity. Okay? So you have to understand that you choose to experience your reality in your own way and not in the way other people feel you should. As a result, you tend to perceive the world around, around you in a unique way, bearing all responsibility and consequences. Capricorn, Cardinal Earth, and the Ascendant, the footstool in which we stand. Yo nunca besaré tu boca. Okay. So, having said that, we can move on to the other aspect of the personality and ego ascribed to Capricorn and the Ascendant. And, and that has a lot to do with the perception of others looking in and that of Capricorn perceiving that interpretation from within looking out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My Saturn. My Saturn. My Saturn. Go ahead. Not letting me do it. You know. Saturn. I gotta handle it. It's not letting me do it. No, no. Okay. Understand that uh with that being said, uh the person with the Capricorn and the Ascendant. Capricorn and the Ascendant people tend to be sober both in appearance and in spirit. Their moral code is found on or founded on the principle of respect. They are hardworking, highly motivated, and persevering in the pursuit of their goals. So their efforts are often met with great success. The more challenging the task, the stronger their determination to accomplish it. They make very effective leaders and are usually endowed with the ability to translate their ideas into action. The essence of earthly cardinality. Okay? So, as a Capricorn Ascendant person, you often expect other people to embrace your own perspective on things and to adjust their actions accordingly. You are reserved, re resistant and reluctant to express your emotions. You only let your guard down when in the company of people you feel close to and comfortable with. You also tend to be a loner, so you often come across as pretentious and arrogant without really being so. 
Capricorn is not easy energy. It's not. Your tendency, your tendency to conform to the established order of things makes you come off as stern, rigid, and inflexible. Underneath the surface, though, you are extremely sensitive. You are your own harshest critic, straightforward and intolerant of dishonesty in any form. When someone turns out to be unworthy of your trust, you sever all ties with them. You become the devil and become vicious and cruel. Capricorn and the Ascendant. So, understand that Capricorn and the Ascendant, when we're dealing with the man, can be quite something else. Capricorn and the Ascendant, when we're dealing with a man's chart, these men are very intelligent, let me tell you. Ambitious and determined to succeed. Determined to succeed. Capricorn, the devil and the Ascendant. Let me re-up, because I just got started. Capricorn, the devil, and the ascendant. The Capricorn man, when well, we're dealing with the Capricorn man, we're dealing, they are driven by the desire to acquire wealth, along with the power, privilege, and independence this confers. They pursue their goals relentlessly and will go to great, even unsavory lengths to accomplish them. At the same time, they are outright, outgoing, and highly reliable. When it comes to romance, they tend to, they need a partner, right? Who is laid back enough to offset their own uptightness and capable of helping them unlock their feelings. When they get involved with a woman of a lesser social status, they expect her to try to become their equal. When they find a woman they want to spend the rest of their life with, they are loyal and devoted to her. They can be surprisingly adventurous, though, in the bedroom. Oh, God. Well, you know, I'm Kelly. The Gapical men in the bedroom. Oh, my God. What? I ain't even going to touch that. <coughs> I spit right in the, in the trash can. The same thing with a Capricorn woman. The Capricorn woman, well, no, the Capricorn woman is different. She needs to be opened up by a man who loves to fuck. Okay, open her up. Let her touch that. Spot. You know what I'm talking about. The Capricorn woman is different. She needs a man that's all man and, and bring her out of herself. And the Capricorn man, who's the devil, needs a woman that will disarm him. Capricorn. The footstool in which we stand.
So understand what we're talking about here. Okay? Now, a word or two about the Capricorn woman with this position. Like the Capricorn ascendant man, the Capricorn ascendant woman are hardworking, determined to achieve their goals, and primarily concerned with making money. They gotta make that cheddar! You gotta make that cheddar. They place a high value on financial security and expect their partners to be as self reliant as they are. They need time before they can enter a committed relationship. They avoid men who are superficial, capricious, or fickle in their emotions. They project an image of of utter composure and often appear as emotionally detached, emotionally distant bitches. But see with insecurity underneath. Unless they are a strong Scorpio influence in their astrology chart, they are timid and reserved in bed, which means that they are boring in the bedroom. But we're talking about the Capricorn Ascendant woman who's unevolved. Because the Capricorn Ascendant woman that's evolved, she will turn her man out. She will turn him out. Out! Don't sleep on the earth queen in the bedroom. Capricorn, the footstool in which we stand. Oh, another beat. Oh, another beat. It just grabs me. Oh. Capricorn and the Ascendant. Another thing about Capricorn and the Ascendant is that reality has many sides for you and you feel the need to try and experience it in its every aspect. Because when you're dealing with Capricorn, there are many different realities and sub-realities. And in the way that you wish, not in the way that others have told you to. So that the responsibility and consequences are all yours. You want to experience life according to your own interpretation and subjective experiences. Not what other people tell you it should be. Okay? The influence of Saturn gives you a melancholy air which often affects the way you think. You base your ideas for a better order of things on the respect that everyone should have for each other so that mutual support can succeed. You are a social, sociable person, but deep down, whatever you want everyone to adopt your views and act in accordance with your ideas. And that in itself is very narcissistic. And there's a penchant of that, not just with Capricorn, but with all the other cardinal signs. I feel this within my own self. I get upset with you if you don't listen to me. I get ups upset with you if you don't follow my philosophy. I get upset with you if you don't honor my opinion. Because my opinion, my philosophy... And my way of looking at life and at the world is the best way to look at it, not yours. And that's the cardinality of Aries, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn. It's arrogant, it's selfish, and deeply narcissistic. But we feel that as the movers and shakers of the zodiac, the cardinal signs, we set the tone, and you fixed signs and mutable signs should follow us. This is the arrogance of Capricorn, the footstool in which we stand. No, doesn't tell also. <laughs> okay. So understand, and we're done with with the cardinal emphasis of this series, and we're gonna go into the mutable signs and fixed signs. Donate. Call me for reading. Goodbye.